Hello and welcome back to Autobots channel. Today I shall speak to you about energy monitoring solutions by Autobots. So Autobots specializes in energy monitoring solutions and today I shall show you a demo in which our solutions work. So when we open or when you log in to our home screen of Autobots, we are able to see all the assets that are connected to the system. So here we are able to see all the assets are online. On the right side, we have a mini dashboard which shows the list of assets and what is happening on the assets. So we are able to see that 91% of my assets are online. So that is 21 are online out of 23. Two assets are offline and zero are under maintenance. Oh, here for energy, we are able to see that the KWH, the units have been consumed has been 6,599 6, and the KVH is 6,591. So this ratio will help us know what the PF is and how it is performing. On the bottom, we are able to see the voltage harmonics and the current harmonics for this machine, for this company. Below that, we are able to see the live kilowatt in action, the live KVA, that's a demand in action, the power factor, how the power factor is, it is at point triple nine, which is the best we can have. And what is the live current over here? So we are used seeing that the company is using, utilizing 1252 amperes of power. So now we will dive deep into what these boxes are. So the color of this box denominates the status of the machine or the asset, whether it is online, whether it is offline. So we are seeing that all of them are online. So here we have put in the incomer as one. So we are seeing the current, it is showing 1237 amperes, active energy again 6600. Uh, units and the power factor. So these parameters can be customized according to the needs and we can change. We can also see how the power has been uh, doing the power consumption pattern. We are able to see what is the pattern over here. Uh, also we are able to see for solar. So for this company we have integrated solar panels uh, into the system and we are seeing that the generation for time for this panels today right now I'm speaking at evening. So the generation has stopped right now. So we are seeing that in today's day the generation has been around 10 hours and 70 minutes and the units that have been generated are 166 units. And there is no current right now being given out. The same way we are able to see for solar cell to all other machines. What is the current? How many units have been consumed? So we are seeing 142 units have been consumed by this asset. Uh, 353 is, uh, units. So same way we are able to see what is the lighting load? What is the utility? Uh, etc. and etc. So if you have got multiple incomers, then we can also differentiate by incomers. Uh, how much which incomer has been uh, consuming power? So this is for the home screen. We can also have different views for this. So once you click, we've got grid view, card view and timeline. So all views can be seen and we are able to see over here uh, how they, they have performed over the whole day. So we see that this machine has not been online for the last 12 hours. So now when we speak, let's, uh, I'll just show you what alerts for energy can be. So when we look into the machine, we, when we click on the machine, we are able to see the alerts that have occurred on this machine. So when the power factor was low, the alerts have been popped up. When voltage is low, you can get an alert. When there is high demand, you can get an alert. When there is uh, high harmonics, you can get an alert. So alerts can be easily configured on this panel over here. So we've configured multiple alerts over here, as you can see, when the machine is on, when the plant is soft, uh, shut down, or when there is over current in any of the phase, uh, when the demand utilization is high, uh, so, so and so. So when PF is low, when PF is high, so we can create alerts easily uh, using a system. And we can also monitor all the live data right here. So if you want to see all the parameters, then we just go to live data and we'll start seeing all the live data over here. So there are no alarms right now. The current uh, harmonics are good. So there's not a problem over here. 
the imbalance it's good so not a problem over here so apparent energy is 6700 and you can see all the data changing in real time so you don't need to refresh this page you don't need to make any changes it's, it's all live real time uh, through the use of websocket technology uh, the current in individual each and every uh, segment so what is the current for uh, b phase what is the voltage for b phase uh, so all the data we are getting so we are integrating multiple energy meters uh, with a solution so autobits is one of this companies that uh, integrates all types of energy meters all makes and all uh, models we we can integrate and we can see what is happening in each of the uh, parameter so we can cover up more than 50 to 80 different parameters for each individual machine or each individual meter and again we are able to see what all alerts are happening going on in which uh, machine if there is any alert it it will be notified on whatsapp uh, it can be notified on telegram and it can also be tri uh, triggered an email we can trigger an email also i'll just show you how it works so you can set uh, the name of the alert you can set what kind of uh you want so if it is less than greater than within range you can set a range outside this range decreasing if the rate of change is increasing uh, if there is value as changes if it is stable for a period of time there is volatility and so and so so then you can put in key who will get the alert and by how so if you want email alert sms app web so you can set how you want the alert to be set then you can also set uh, users that will get the alert on whatsapp so whatsapp has not been configured for this company and uh, you can set which all uh, telegram channels will be sent this uh, alert so we can see that there is a one uh, telegram channel in which this data will be sent so when whenever there will be increase in voltage on wi phase for more than 440 voltage it will trigger and it will send every 10 minutes so if the alert frequency if uh, the voltage is more than 440 for 12 minutes it will send once then again it will wait for more 10 more minutes then again it will send so it will keep sending till uh, it has been resolved and if you don't want to uh, periodic then you will you can just dis, uh, click on this toggle this and you will only get an alert once you can also set the kind of flag you want is it critical if it is urgent you will see uh when do you want it to be alerted you can also define that okay, you want this alert only in the daytime the working hours or 24/7 you can also create custom api calls for this if you want so you can put in your url uh the method uh and the data you want to push so this is for the alerts